Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. I think most of you are watching from the playlist, right? So if you have watched from the playlist, you I think you have already gone through the topic MC calls quality factors, right? So this topic is coming under the in software quality factors, guys. So basically, this is a methodology you can say in which you can check the quality. Okay, yes. So in this lecture, let us go through the components of a quality assurance, guys. Okay, yes. So basically, the quality assurance it is having a three uh, components, guys. The main three components. So the first component is nothing but the software testing. So basically, proper testing and all those things should be done. Okay. Similarly, quality control. So you need to check the quality and all those things. Okay. Guys, I'll be discussing about them. Don't worry. And the last, the third component is nothing but software configuration management. Okay. Yes. Okay. So this is a small diagram you can say. Okay. So we are having standards, procedures, and okay conventions and specifications for these things okay yes so basically what are standards so we are having iso 900 and cmmi model and iso 1554 these are some models you can say guys i will be discussing about iso 9000 and cmmi okay so we'll be discussing about these two i think we are not going to discuss about this okay yes so and the procedure so basically you will be following some procedure to perform things right yes so that comes under the procedure okay and conventions so basically whenever you are selling some product or some software you will be following some conventional rules and all those things okay similarly specification so whatever your software requirements the minimum requirements so any software which you download or game you download online so it will be saying this much of ram is needed this much of space is needed so it is specifying all its requirements right so that come un comes under specification so the reason why i explained you these four terms is because in this answer there are these four terms are not explained guys i don't know from where they copied the answer but it's not written clearly okay yes so that's the reason why i wanted to explain them and i explained them okay so let us start now with software quality testing so software testing so basically i hope everyone knows about this software testing right so basically software testing is nothing but so you will be taking the software and you will be giving some inputs and you will expect the output which should be the correct output so this concept of testing with the known inputs and known outputs is called a software testing guys Okay, so here the main goal is software testing is a popular risk management strategy. So basically why it is called as risk management strategy guys, because if you sold the product, assume that you are creating a online website or some kind of a store. Okay, so which you did not test. So basically you created the website and you directly launched it and everyone is using it now. So at this moment, some user could invest some money or could buy some product and the money ended up going to some other's account, not to your accounts or the owner's account. So in this situation, there's a huge loss of money, right? Yes. So in this way, it is going to help you in risk management. Okay. So it is to verify that the functionality requirements are met. So basically, if there is a payment module in your application, so in that situation, you need to check by giving some money to a, to like giving some inputs and you will be taking the money whether it is receiving or not in that way you need to cross check them only then you can launch the product guys in that way so basically to check from some functionalities will be using it so the limitation of this approach however it is that by the time testing occurs it is too late the building quality into the product so basically the testing will be done once some modules are built guys so you cannot write a small function and test it again and again and again so that method is a good approach but it will take a long time guys so that is the reason why the testing will be done once the product some part of the product is done so in that way so this is this also you can say as a drawback because it is a bit late also okay so tests are only as good as the test cases but they can be inspected to ensure that all the required requirements are tested across all possible combinations of inputs and states so basically assume that you you created an application for something right so assume that for video editing so in that situation you need to test it in all possible ways right so you need to give a video and you need to edit it okay and at the same time you need to edit some that video hundreds of times so that if there are multiple errors you can resolve them slowly as you test it you find errors guys okay yes so in that way you need to give all possible combinational inputs okay Yes. And one more thing is, however, not all defects can be discovered in testing. So once a product testing phase is done, you cannot say that that product is 100% clear with no errors or no issues. So there will be multiple errors, guys, even after the testing. So that is the reason why always the updates are done. So even for our big, big applications like Windows, Mac, even those uh, 
softwares will also have some updates because of these bug fixes only guys yes even our games android games pc softwares games and everything will be doing the same thing okay yes so this is some introduction which you can write about software testing guys please go through the theory part guys because the theory is not that much bad it is really good guys so i i don't know from where they exactly took it, it might be from textbook also but the ex examples and everything is written clearly so i request you to go through the whole theory guys okay yes so let us continue to the next component the second component is nothing but quality control okay so first let us go through the theory part then i'll be explaining you about the quality control in my own words okay so quality control is defined as the process and method used to monitor work and observe whether the requirements are met it focuses on reviewing and removal of defects before shipping of the product okay quality control should be responsible responsibility of the organization or organizational organizational unit unit producing the product it is the possibility it is possible to have same group that builds the product before the quality control functionalities are to be established so basically quality control is some kind of testing only you can say guys so basically here you will be checking the quality of your product that is nothing but quality of your software or quality of your object pen right yes so here based on some qualities you will check before shipping this product to the customers so basically before you globally release your software you will test it so that is the reason why whenever a software is tested they will be calling it as beta testing alpha testing and all those terms will be used right yes so that is nothing but the testing phase guys okay yes so quality control this test if they are done inside your company so you are not giving it to into customers hand you are testing inside your company so that testing or that that quality checking is nothing but the quality control okay so if there are any things which you want to review or change you will be modifying them and you will be releasing to the global for alpha and beta testing in that way it will work guys okay yes guys please go through the rest of the theory also guys the theory is not that much bad so please go through it and have some idea guys because in examination if it is asked for an LAQ you need to write it right yes so let us continue okay yes so let us continue with software configuration management so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about this in detail so i'll be just giving you an overview here guys okay yes so assume that you created an application okay so in that application you will give some software configurations right okay so your question will be so what are the software configurations i did, we did not get some clear idea so basically you will be seeing some ram is required right some memory is required so in that way you will be giving some uh, uh, specifications right so basically the, you need this os or this operating system to work like windows 8 and above like 2 gb ram and more is required that on 32 and 64 bit it will work uh, there is a minimum requirement of 500 mb of uh, hard drive space so in that way you will be giving some configuration or requirement spaces right so all this comes under the software quality on configuration management so software configuration management is concerned with labels labeling tracking and controlling changes in the software elements of the system so it controls the evolution of software system and manages the versions of its software components and its relationship so basically assume that currently we are using i9 processor right so assume that i11 or i10 came into play so in that situation your software which you designed using an i3 processor or an i5 processor should also run on this processor right so basically these kind of configurations everything should be managed guys okay yes so if you talk about some physical products like which can be trackable and which are labeled so basically even those shipping all those processes will be taken here okay yes okay so the purpose of software configuration management is to identify all the interrelated components of software and to control their evolution throughout the various like phases okay so software configuration management is a display so these are some components you can say guys that's another software development documentation control problem tracking change control maintenance so these are some phases guys we'll be discussing about these phases in the next lecture guys okay yes so in the next lecture we'll be discussing in detail about the software configuration management okay i think now you are clear with the quality control and the software testing right yes so please go through the theoretical part which is given in this pdf guys okay yes so in the next lecture we'll be discussing in detail about about software configuration management okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching